Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this fall inspired mauve pinky brownie kind of look. So if you want to see my fall makeup tutorial, then please keep on watching. Hi guys, okay, so I'm going to start by clipping some of my hair back so it's not bugging me when I'm trying to do my makeup. And then next I am gonna prime my eyes with some concealer. I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 16 and my Morphe M224. I'm gonna carve up my eyebrows and I'm gonna uh, prime my eyes at the same time. I like to carve my eyebrows out before I actually fill them in. For some reason I've just found that it gives me a better shape. Okay, now that my eyes are primed and my eyebrows are carved out, I'm going to prime my face with the uh, Benefit Porefessional Primer, just because my pores right here are kind of large. Not super, but I don't want them to be shown, so I'm going to fill them in and a little bit here and then the excess on my nose, but I focus it right here on my cheeks because that's the worst spot for my pores for me personally now i'm gonna go in with my foundation i'm gonna use the Too faced born this way foundation in the shade sand now it doesn't match my face but it matches my neck so bear with me this foundation does go a long way so you won't need too much to get a full coverage look see one dab in that covered half my face Now I'm just going to take the excess up on my forehead. And I like to do my foundation before my eyeshadow and my eyebrows because I feel like I can't get my foundation all the way up against my eyebrow if my eyebrows are done. And um, I get a better shape with my eyeshadow if I do my foundation first because I like to get my foundation right up to my shadow and I always mess up the shape so I just found this to be easier but I don't do anything else before my eyes so now I do my eyes now that my foundation's on for concealer and powder I do my eyes so I'm gonna start with a transition shade I'm gonna go in with the Hoola bronzer by Benefit and a fluffy brush and I'm gonna tap it in my crease and then I'm gonna buff it out. I just like to have this because I think it makes it more of like a monochromatic kind of look. Just because I'm using the bronzer that I'm gonna put on my face, it just all comes together much better in the end in my opinion. It's not necessary though. If you don't wanna do this, you don't need to. I used to start with my eyebrows before anything. Now I do my eyebrows almost last because it just looks so much better in the end in my opinion. Okay, now that my bronzer's on, I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe um, Vault Collection and I'm going to use the Ring the Alarm palette, which is the warmer tones, which I love. And I'm going to go in with the shade Rush right there with the same fluffy brush, tap it off with a really light hand 
go in over top of where you just put that bronzer. As you can see, this is a much more orangey tone than my bronzer, which I like for my eyes. I like to bring my eyeshadow out kind of like this way, sort of like a wing, I guess, because I think it looks good when you can connect your lower lash line shadow to it. This shape is just more, much more flattering for me because it just goes like that and I already kind of have almond shaped eyes. Okay, now I'm done with that and I'm gonna move into the Dose of Colors Desi Katie Friendcation palette. Looks like this. And I am going to go in with this shade Churro right there, that brown, and a smaller, a more compact blending brush. Tap off the excess, and then go in on the outer corner mostly. Put most of the color on the outer corner and then blend it into the rest. Go back with your first brush and make sure everything's blended. And just keep doing that until you feel like you have the shade that you want. Now I'm going to go in with an even smaller fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take the shade Cheens right there, that darker brown. Barely any. Go right on the very, very outer corner. Kind of wing it out. And then go back in again with your first brush. Your first brush. And blend it out. You don't have to use this many shades. I just like to have a lot of dimension. But do whatever you prefer. Okay, now that that's done, okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Girl By, which is that mauve shade right in the middle down there. And put that right kind of on top of everything, but not as high up as the bronzer and the first transit or the first transition shade we used. Then I'm gonna go back in, blend everything. Make sure you're blending in between every step because it really just does make it turn out so much better. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the shade Try Me, this really beautiful pink cranberry kind of shimmer. I'm gonna put that right on my lid. Oh my God, that is so pretty. And I kinda like to spread my shimmers like everywhere. I don't like them to be like a cup crease or like super neat, just cause, I don't know. I like the way it looks when they like slowly fade. Then I'm gonna go in with Just a Kiss right there. And I'm gonna go in right over top, just on the front portion, just to give that a little extra oomph. Ooh, and it does. Oh my God. Do you see that sparkle? That is so pretty. This palette is gorgeous. Okay. 
Now that that's done, well, I'm gonna blend out this crease in my forehead. I'm gonna go with concealer, and I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Natural Beige, just to conceal. And I'm gonna go with my um, ColourPop to highlight. You don't have to use as much product as me, or you can use more. You can do whatever you want. Some people think this is too much. This is a lot. I know. But you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. I do put highlight a little under my eyes, but I don't like it to be too much, so that's why I go in with the first shade. Highlight. Cupid's bow, and down the center of my nose. Oop. Now I'm gonna go blend that out and I'm gonna do my under eyes last so that they have a chance to dry a little bit before I blend them out so I have more coverage there. Gotta cover up those bags, you know. Okay, now that I'm concealed and highlighted. I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX, the perfect setting powder. First I'm gonna blend out the creases under my eyes because you don't wanna set those. And I'm gonna go in with a pretty generous amount and set under my eyes. That's the first thing I do because I don't want creases. I do just pat it in, I don't bake. I've never really been one to bake under my eyes just because I don't really see the point. Now I'm gonna set my forehead. And it really does lighten up your foundation too. So if your foundation is a little bit too dark for you when you first put it on, don't worry because you'll once you put your concealer on, that already lightens it. And then you put the powder on, it makes it lightens it even more, so. I set almost my entire face with this. Pretty much the whole thing. I really like this one. It's good for drier skin because it's not too matte. Like the Laura Mercier powder is so matte. If you have dry skin, don't use that. Definitely don't. And then I'm gonna go in for the outer part of my face with the Lancome Absolute powder in the shade Absolute Petch. I think that's how you say it. And this one is like a glowy powder, so I dip in and then I tap off on my hand. And then I go in on the sides, because I really like to look dewy or glowy. I don't like to look matte and flat and, no, not my thing. But if you don't like to look dewy, then you can go in with the Cover FX powder all over your face or any setting powder that you like. Then I just kind of dab the rest wherever, because I like to glow everywhere, so I really don't mind. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my bronzer, and I'm going to go in this with the same one I use in my eyes. I'm going to use the Hoola Benefit bronzer, and I'm going to use this big fluffy Morphe brush. And bronze my cheeks. And I do kind of like to just take it with just like nothing left on the brush well barely anything and just kind of go over like that because I don't like the middle of my face to be white when the rest of me is bronze not a good look I'm gonna take my cover FX powder and go underneath that
not for long, just to just enough time to make it look neater. Wipe that off. Plenty of time. Okay, now I'm gonna do my um, brows and lashes off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, now that I have my brows done and mascara on, I'm gonna go in with some blush. Yeah, so I'm gonna use Sigma blush in the shade Cheeky. I'm going to tap it off and, and I, I like to bring it all the way back. I used to hate blush. Now I've been into a way more blushed look. I like a lot more color on my face, so the blush just makes you look more youthful and happy and sun-kissed. Okay, so blush is done. I'm going to go in with highlight now, and I'm going to use Dose of Colors Desi Katie collab in the shade Fuego. It looks like that. And I'm just gonna dunk it in a good amount of times and apply it. And I think it is so pretty. I do like to put my highlight right on the apple too so when you smile you can see it directly instead of just seeing it from the side. And I kind of do it in a C shape so it goes like around my eyebrow. I'm going to put some above my brow. It's such a wet highlighter. I love it. And my chin. And I'm going to use my finger for Cupid's bow. And nose. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Fan myself off. I hate that I get my hair so wet every time I do it. This is just good. I really just love setting sprays because I like to melt all the powders in. Because it's not cute to have a powdery face. You just look cakey. So you make you want to make sure you melt it in with spray. Whatever kind of spray you want. Now I'm going to use that same highlight and I'm going to do my brow bone. my inner corner it just makes your eyes look so much more awake and wide okay now I'm gonna do my bottom mascara I like to wait until after I spray my face to do that for the first time because I don't want to get it all over I want it to have some time to dry Oh, and I'm using the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit for my upper lashes. I used Roller Lash by Benefit just because my lashes have no curl to them. So Roller Lash really helps with my curl, and Bad Gal Bang helps with length for the bottom ones. I feel like after I put my lower lash mascara on, my top lashes just don't look very long for some reason. I don't know if it's just me or what, but whatever. 
Now I'm gonna go in with a lippy. So, I'm gonna go in with the MAC lip pencil in the shade Spice, and I'm gonna line my lips with that. Now that I'm lying, I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors um, liquid lip in the shade Aesthetic. This doesn't match. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, that didn't match at all. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Whirl, which is more of a mauve shade. And I'm gonna completely fill my lip in with that. Okay, now my lip is filled in with Whirl lip liner and I'm gonna go in with Dose of Colors over the top lip gloss. I'm just going to dab it in the center. I don't like, I like to do gloss because I don't like my lips to look dry. And I feel like liquid lipstick or just liner or whatever makes your lips look kind of dry. So now I'm going to spray my face again with the setting spray because I like to make sure everything is completely melted in. Okay, that's it for this makeup tutorial so if you enjoyed it then give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe down below and turn on your bell notifications to see when I upload thanks guys bye